The Ravens playoff game tonight against the Cincinnati Bengals is a perfect game uh, for John Harbaugh and his philosophy on the field to be put on full display. Ravens under Harbaugh, they love to run the ball and play good defense. That's what they specialize in. That's what they focus on. So the game today is a perfect opportunity for that. It's cold weather. It's a playoff game. You're missing your starting quarterback. Why not capitalize on the things that you love? But this is also a perfect game for John Harbaugh and his off-field philosophy to be put on full display as well. One of the things John Harbaugh loves to do is play as many mind games as he possibly can before kickoff. Uh, and one of those mind games is who a starter could be at a certain position if he has injuries at that certain position. Hey, and, and the pressers, the reporters will be like, hey, what's the status on this player? Is he going to return this week? Is he going to start this week? We see he's been practicing. Is he in line to start the game? And Harbaugh will be like, oh, well, we're not going to name a starter yet. Well, uh, we'll see about that. Uh, well, I don't know about that. And now, apparently, according to Ian Rappaport, that's going to be on full display tonight because Tyler Huntley's been out for a little bit. Uh, but he started practicing this week. He started throwing this week. So Tyler Huntley is back. He will be active. And, of course, Anthony Brown, he started in Tyler Huntley's absence. And both of them uh, have started in Lamar Jackson's absence. But Lamar is out. He is not playing tonight at all. He's already been ruled out. So who's it going to be? Is Tyler Huntley going to get the start or is Anthony Brown going to get the start? Well, let's read the report from Ian Ravenfort. Which was, it's funny, but it, it is just so John Harbaugh. Anyway, he said the Ravens haven't named a starting quarterback, but all signs point to them playing both Tyler Huntley and Anthony Brown at QB in their playoff game versus the Bengals, sources say. So, <laughs> hey, like, okay, I ain't mad at it, man. I ain't mad at it, man. We just... Harbaugh, just do what you do, man. Go win. I know Harbaugh is, uh, I believe he's undefeated in uh, wild card games and like away wild card games, something like that. But, I mean, even with that, whether he's undefeated or not, go win. Go get it done. Because Ravens, despite what so many people are saying, despite how so many people feel, Ravens do have a legitimate shot at winning this game. And like I said, I, I think they're going to win. I think they're going to win like 21-19. Uh, and, hey, we'll see how it goes. I mean, last night, <laughs> right, as soon as the game started, right at 8.16 p.m., I tweeted it out. I said, Trevor Lawrence, he's going to throw four touchdowns tonight. And after the first pick, so many people looked at it crazy. They said, oh, he's going to oh, he throw four picks. After the second pick, they were like, oh, look at this guy. Old takes exposed. Then after the third pick, they were like, hi, Greg, what are you talking about? You don't know nothing. And then after the fourth pick, they were like, hey, don't tweet about the Ravens tomorrow because you're going to jinx it, man. Even though ain't no such thing as no jinx. But anyway, look what Trevor Lawrence ended up doing. But anyway, uh, moving back to the Ravens, um, let, let's, let's, let's read the article because this – I, I wonder how, if they do end up doing this, I wonder exactly how they're going to do it. Like, are they going to do series by series? Or are they going to do quarter by quarter? I know my guy, I was talking to my guy JT a couple of days ago, and he had suggested this before. Before this article came out, again, this was a couple of days ago, uh, he suggested that the Ravens play both quarterbacks. He said if, uh, if Tyler Huntley gets the start and things ain't looking so good, pull Tyler Huntley, put in Anthony Brown. Um, so, hey, we, we, we'll, see, we'll see exactly how that goes. Um, but the article says Baltimore Ravens head coach John Harbaugh on Friday did not announce a starting quarterback for tonight's wild card game in Cincinnati, choosing to take it right up until game time. And yeah, that, that's Harbaugh all day. That's Harbaugh, man. It's like you don't know until the actual lineups come out. Even though us Ravens fans, like, we usually got a clue and we usually get those clues right. But still, Harbaugh right up until game plan, getting playing games with the opponents or whatnot. But anyway, uh, he said that, however, might not be the most intriguing development regarding the Ravens signal caller. Sources say the Ravens plan to play both quarterbacks against the Bengals. Tyler Snoop Huntley and Anthony Brown. One thing, love Ian Rappaport. Love his reporting. Obviously, one of the uh, the best in the game, one of the most respected in the game. Love it. He always breaking news, this and that. Like, he's really... 
uh, his biggest competition really is Adam Schefter. It's him and Adam Schefter. Those are the they're, the they're the biggest ones. They're not the only ones, obviously, but they're the biggest. It's like an NBA. It's Waj uh, and, and Shams. But anyway, uh, one thing that I just uh, it, it is so like annoying or not even annoying, just so cringy. Whenever he talks about Snoop, you don't gotta say his whole name and his nickname. Don't that like. Tyler Snoop Huntley. No, pick one or the other. Either call him Tyler Huntley or call him Snoop. Don't call him Tyler Snoop Huntley. I hate when he does that. But anyway, that's just that's just me. I don't know if any of y'all feel the same way. But I and and when he says it out like he wrote it in an article, but he says it out loud too. Like when he's doing videos and stuff, he'll say Tyler Snoop Huntley. Just, just, just call him Snoop or call him Tyler Huntley. Anyway. Um, he says, sources say the Ravens plan to play both quarterbacks um, against the Bengals, Tyler Snoop Huntley and Anthony Brown. Uh, that's one reason why an announced starter might not matter as much. Who plays could depend on the package Baltimore uses. It's funny. Ravens fans like are the best, man. I, I love y'all so much because Ravens fans are so funny. I saw somebody say, um, oh, they're they going to bring out Anthony Brown when it's time to throw the ball. Like straight up, like just like that. They're going to bring out Anthony Brown when it's time to throw the ball. Uh, but anyway. Um, star quarterback Lamar Jackson remains out due to a grade 2 PCL sprain Huntley has battled shoulder tendonitis and a wrist injury But he was a full participant on Friday An indication of his readiness for Sunday While Brown started last week's loss to the Bengals Harbaugh described himself as hopeful that Huntley That Huntley would be able to go And the team did not elevate QB Brett Huntley From the practice squad Now it seems both Brown and Huntley will go While it might be an uphill battle for Baltimore against the Bengals That's been his favorite phrase this week Uphill battle Because he said the uphill battle About Lamar Jackson Even playing in this game Or practicing this past week And we saw that way But anyway While it might be an uphill battle For Baltimore against the Bengals Two quarterbacks could Present a curveball To be sure Huntley and Brown Have different strengths Yes They certainly do That is true So you combine those strengths Into one And boom You come out with a win Anyway he said In five games Huntley has completed 67% of his passes But also has 43 rushing attempts. Brown has just three rushes in two games and threw it 44 times last week. The hope is to present Cincy's defense with a bit more of a challenge. Asked if he's ready to return, Huntley told reporters on Friday that he has no nerves. Just excited to get back out there after missing one week. It's a privilege to go out there and play football, and I appreciate it. So, um, yeah, the show must go on, and, and we'll see how this show ends up going tonight. Now, um... The way that they do this is going to be interesting Because uh, are they going to force the issue? I hope not I, I really hope they don't like overthink it Like say for instance Whoever, say for instance Tyler Huntley Just using it as an example Say for instance Tyler Huntley um, He opens the game Maybe they get a field goal Maybe they punt Maybe they get a touchdown Whatever they get He opens it no, I'm, I'm going to just say field goal or punt So he opens the game They either get three or they get nothing um, no turnovers, but they get three or they get nothing. Uh, so the next drive, Tyler Huntley drives the team down for a touchdown. And then Bengals get the ball, then Tyler Huntley drives the team down for a field goal. I would hope that if Tyler's driving the team down, that they wouldn't be like, yank. All right, Anthony Brown, you in now. Because I just, I would hope that they wouldn't try to like mess up momentum the same way they would do in 2018. Uh, when Lamar was a rookie with Joe Flacco There will be a lot of times when <laughs> it wasn't so good But there will be times when Joe Flacco was actually moving the Ravens offense They were moving the ball And then the coach was like, alright Lamar, go Go do what you do And it's like, oh, okay I mean, we love Lamar and, and hoping that he, he does his thing But you, you messing up the flow Sometimes it'll work, sometimes it wouldn't work But they will mess up the flow So I, I, I just hope that they can just ride the hot hand uh, and I know, like, playing both quarterbacks, it could throw the Bengals off, but it could also throw the Ravens off as well. Um, it will be harder for the quarterbacks to get into a rhythm if they're going back, forth, back, forth, back, forth, back, forth. So we just got to see how the Ravens do this thing, man. But it should be fun. I love y'all team. Keep it clean. I, re I really thought that I wasn't going to see y'all until – Later tonight for the stream But Ravens just They gotta be Ravens So it's, it's literally something new Every single day But We love them um, Question from subscribers I, I told y'all And this last thing Before we get out of here I told y'all that the other day um, I had 
49 minutes of question from subscriber video 49 minutes wasn't 49 minutes long but uh, it was 49 minutes in recording so i would have had to break that up edit it and stuff like that so it probably would end up being like 40 minutes but whatever um i accidentally deleted it and i just did not have the energy the patience the i, I just did not have it to do the questions over yet so we will do those, all those questions uh, this week after the game um, As Ravens prepare for whoever they're going to end up playing next week um, But anyway, I love y'all team, keep it clean I appreciate y'all, thank y'all for being patient Thank y'all for supporting Thank y'all for 62,000 subscribers We just crossed the 62,000 uh, subscriber milestone um, So, man, things is, that's, that's crazy, man Like, and I'm just thinking about different milestones that We'll get. I mean, we'll get there when we get there. But the next, probably the next biggest milestone, or well, next big big milestone. I mean, for me, it'll be sixty five thousand. Really, sixty three thousand. But sixty five thousand. That would be like really. Then then seventy thousand. That would be like. That'd be like weird, man. That'd be like really weird, man. Like, I don't know, man. It's crazy, man. It's like, it's it's crazy how so many people that. Uh, you don't know Like there's a lot of people that I do know That support like crazy And I, I, I really appreciate uh, The people that I know in my life Personally Because um, they, they support They say, it, It's some people that Don't even know about anything about football I mean we, we don't even know anything about football But they still subscribe They still be watching the videos and stuff They'll be like hey I, I just have it on uh, I, I, I'll play the videos and stuff uh, I don't know what's going on but I, I'll play the videos um, And then uh like even friends of family that support like one of my family members uh she one of her friends i guess one of her friends was at her, her house watching uh, it was a live stream or something and her friend asked her like oh that that that's that's all that he does that that's all that he does for work and she was like yeah but i mean that's not all that we do not just live stream it's a lot more than that but it it, it was just it's always funny hearing like stories like that and stuff man but um I, I do appreciate how much my friends and family, they like really support. Uh, but I appreciate how y'all support because y'all have become friends and family. It's a lot of people that we've met over the years, especially in person, that we like super cool with. And some people that we just uh, have communicated with on here, whether it be through messages, whether it be through comments, whether. And, and it's like you, you sort of get to know. Uh, a bit of how somebody is through their comments because you see certain names that 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 pop up every single video I, I, I see them. i can't always respond to every single one but i'll be seeing them certain names that pop up in every single video and their comments are orchestrated a certain way it's like okay yeah that that is something that he or she would say or whatnot but i really appreciate y'all supporting because y'all support in such a big way man such a big way uh, and I appreciate it. It makes such a big difference. Um, I appreciate. Uh, I appreciate how y'all just y'all are really positive. Um, y'all are really y'all are just y'all, man. Uh, so it, it's it's super cool. So thank you, thank you for being you. Um, I love you. I appreciate you. Uh, and like the Ravens will not be at the end of the night when it comes to being in the playoffs. We out.